We'll close them down if they're opening in violation of the law uh, on both Saturday and Sunday. Now, this can take two forms. Law allows injunctions and restraining orders to be used. They also use, allow criminal cases to be formed. We can and will use both if necessary. Do you intend to ask for the forfeiture of any bonds? Yes. Uh, in the Levitt store, we had an injunction against them, and the local judge here, Judge Guitard, upheld the law last year sometime. They appealed that, and it's now in the Eastland Court of Civil Appeals. Uh, it will be sent back here shortly, and at that time, we'll ask Judge Guitard to forfeit the full amount of the $100,000 bond that they made. Why does this Christmas season always seem to bring out the worst in people, uh, and why does crime seem to rise during the holiday season? Well, this isn't new. For many, many years, we've had a material increase in robbery and theft, armed robbery, uh, shoplifting, uh, the passing of uh, bogus checks, and et cetera. Most businesses are, are more crowded, making it... Uh, perhaps easier for to pass a worthless check. And then, too, of course, the criminals, the ones that uh, are out to do something illegal, to, to get something that belongs to somebody else, they take advantage of these various opportunities. And I suppose, uh, even from their angle, there's maybe more desire for spending money at this time of year, too. During this period, give special emphasis to the trial of shoplifting cases and particular armed robbers. As you know, we've had a rash of bank robbers also, and uh, we have one that's been caught, and uh, we hope he'll be indicted Monday and hope to try him within 30 days. What about your hot check problem during the holiday season? It goes up. Actually, the giving of checks is a practical matter. Generally, we don't get them until January and February because the merchants are so busy selling their goods that they usually end up after Christmas with bringing the checks to us. But it'll show they, they go up higher then. The people's budgets get lower during the Christmas holiday. Since all of the investigations were completed and the courts of law that were trying these cases had disposed of them. But then uh, I thought that before something happened to me I should document what I knew about the entire incident and I thought that this was a time when people had, uh, you know, uh, their interest has turned to other things to some degree and, and they could take this book now and uh, calmly read it and not have all the emotion in it that they would have earlier. And then two, uh, as long as these investigations were going on and trials were in progress, it wouldn't have been right for me to come out with, with uh, my type of book. Uh, I think that uh, there's something about steam that, uh, that gets one. If one is hooked on steam, it's as bad as anything else in the world. And uh, I think perhaps if uh, you've ever been up here when this locomotive is running, you'll know what I'm talking about. We've noticed uh, that the crew, and yourself in particular, refers to the locomotive as a she. What is it, the, the feminine personality about it? Uh, well, to start off with, it's the same idea as a ship. A ship is always a she, regardless of the name. But basically, I think it's to do with the way you've got to handle the thing. Uh, a steam locomotive is not like an internal combustion engine where you can get into a diesel or an automobile and just press a button on the way you go. You've got to spend a lot of time, if you've got to get the best out of a steam locomotive, you've got to spend a lot of time uh, preparing it and, uh, you know, getting it uh, ready for action and all this kind of thing. 
and uh, there's no doubt at all that unless you're prepared to devote a lot of time to it, you won't really get very much response from it. This particular locomotive has some history. Uh, the only side we're taking in this is the side of the U.S. Constitution. Uh, we believe that individuals should be free to express their opinions, that we believe in freedom of speech, and uh, this case is a perfect example of, of this basic American right. Our policy at this time, Deal, is to ban all armbands or any other type of unusual attire or dress that would intrude on the work of the school or on the rights of other students. This includes any kind of symbol, even perhaps uh, a miniature American flag. This includes uh, any kind of armband, any kind of insignia that would create violence or disruption in our schools. 